Morning everyone, AJ here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to sync the files in Teams to your Windows Explorer. It's making access to your Teams files as simple and as familiar as what it would be as using your C drive, except the difference is everything is being stored and saved back to Teams. If you find this video useful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know what other content you want me to cover. But if you really wanna supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button as well. And with that being said, let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is, is open up Teams and navigate to the channel that you want to sync to your PC. For this example, I want to sync everything from the research and development team onto my computer. So if I wanted to sync all the files here in the research and development channel to my PC, just so it appears in my file explorer and it's a much more familiar user interface, at the top here you can see it says new, upload, sync, copy, download, all these sorts of things. What you want to do is hit the sync option. This is powered by OneDrive, so you'll get a notification saying getting ready to sync. So once you hit that sync option, it's gonna to open to OneDrive and it's gonna show you where that files are gonna be stored on your PC. I'm just gonna hit next. The cloud symbol means that it's just reflecting it on your device, but it's stored purely online. So it's not gonna take up any space on your computer. The green tick means that when you open that, it's gonna download it to your PC and it's gonna have a locally cached copy of that file. That solid green tick means it's gonna be made available offline as well. So it's gonna store a local copy. And this is great to do when you know you have files that you're gonna work on, but you're gonna be offline without Wi-Fi. It could be when you're traveling, it could be in a plane, it could be just anywhere where you know or you think you're not gonna have any internet connection. Save a few files offline so you can keep working on them even when you're not connected to the internet. So I'm gonna hit next and I'm gonna open. So now it's gonna open up my file explorer. On the left hand side, you can see I have my OneDrive account. If I had my work account on here as well, it would say OneDrive with my work name. Above that, you see there is a blue building with the word Contoso, which is this organization name. And in that Contoso file is everything that I've synced from my work SharePoint and my team site. For this example, I've only seen that one research and development channel, which you can see is here. And the status is that it's cloud only. If I open this up, it's gonna look very familiar to you in that we're doing this all through the File Explorer, but if I snap these side by side and give you a comparison, you're gonna see that everything in the File Explorer is a carbon copy of what's in that Teams site it, because it's all pulling from the same online directory. One is just being accessed through the Teams client and the other one is being accessed through your File Explorer. They're all connecting to the same file, that single point of truth, you might just find that using the File Explorer can make it easy to navigate sometimes. Cool, and there you have it. That is how you can sync your Teams files and folders onto your PC so they're accessible through File Explorer. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, give it a thumbs up and let me know what other content you want me to cover. And if you really want to supercharge the way you use Microsoft Teams, make sure you hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss any of my updates. Thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.